Hi everybody, hello on International Women's Day. Um, I don't normally subscribe to these kind of things and wouldn't normally get involved, but I've spent most of the day um, driving around and listening and observing uh, various media broadcasts, listening to interviews with various people, um, various women, obviously, um, all around International Women's Day. And a couple of things struck me. Um, I think it's absolutely right that we should celebrate women. Absolutely we should. And I think it's absolutely right that women here in the West should be incredibly grateful for all the amazing opportunities that we have here that millions of women around the world don't have the right to vote, uh, relative equality, um, the right to jobs, the right to set up a business, uh, the right to decent health care and education, uh, all those in no particular order obviously, um, but of course we should celebrate all that. Of course we should celebrate the strength of women. There have been some incredibly uh, strong women in my life that have been incredibly influential. There are, still are some incredibly influential women, strong, fantastic women in my life. I myself am a, a female leader, a female entrepreneur through my foundation and I help other women. So yes, we should celebrate all of that. But it just occurred to me today that a lot of what I heard and read in the media was um, maybe not negative, but maybe a little on the aggressive side. And I just wanted to share what I've learned in my life about that kind of approach as someone who grew up with an incredibly uh, domineering, um, violent, aggressive, schizophrenic mother and as someone who later in her life um, survived and thrived in one of the most male dominated and quite aggressive industries there are in advertising. And here's the thing, despite all of that, despite being surrounded by all that um, strength and dominance and um, male influence, I steadfastly refused to change my approach. I steadfastly refused to go against what was natural to me and uh, get involved in and become a part of that uh, aggression. I never subscribed to it. I stayed true to my own way, to my own nature. And I found other ways to thrive and survive. And so it, it just seemed appropriate to make this very short little post to say that Yes, absolutely, I think women should be celebrated and particularly women in business and women all around the world in different situations should be celebrated. And today is just one day that we should do that. We should be doing that every day. But authentically. I don't think we have to get on this aggressive train to make real changes. I've made some incredible powerful changes in my own life. I've helped other people, other women to make incredible, powerful changes in their lives, but always authentically and never with aggression. And it's worked. It's worked for me, it's worked for many others. So it's just a bit of a thought for the day. Um, I hope you've had a fantastic International Women's Day. I hope you've done whatever you felt appropriate to do to celebrate or to mark the day in some way. Um, and I noticed that the hashtag for this International Women's Day this year is um, Be Bold for Change. And I love that. I absolutely love that. Be Bold for Change. That's what I've always been. That's what I've always done. But bold doesn't need to be aggressive. Bold can be gentle. Bold just means standing up and being your 
best self and being visible and standing up for whatever it is that you're passionate about. So have a great rest of International Women's Day and uh, I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.